Hello and welcome to Top Hat Chat Live with myself, Street, and the Top Hat Gaming Man. Um, today on the channel we are going to be discussing a very serious subject, and that subject is of neglect. We will be discussing neglect. Mm. Uh, we're going to be trying to put um, a slightly more positive feel on it by talking about the neglect of the Nintendo Wii specifically, rather than talking about neglect of anything else, because that makes things quite sad, um, which isn't good. Ah, oh, sorry, I just had to check the sound levels because they've been playing up recently when we've yeah. been live on YouTube and um, they seem fine for now. Good, that's I must good say. Yeah. So that's some good news. Um, so uh, we will not be neglecting the audience anymore. Well, I yes. certainly won't be. I'll be paying attention to them instead of this. Yes, which is fine. Um, so uh, we, I will be paying attention to the chat as well as much as I can. Um, so yeah, uh, Robin has said notification squad. Notification squad. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so you can see when these go live, uh, although it is generally the same every week, 8.30ish, um, between 8.15 and 8.30 UK time yes. on um, YouTube for our weekly YouTube stream. Indeed. And tonight as uh, we will shall be playing a, um underrated Wii game, which uh, we talk about a little bit more further into this yeah, stream. Yeah, and that is on our post stream, which is the Twitch stream. That no, we, do we don't call it the post stream. We call it the Twitch stream. That's it. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll be on YouTube the... stream and the Twitch stream. Okay. On YouTube here, we discuss various pointless things, and on Twitch, we play various pointless games. So it's, that's it's generally all, what we it's do. It's all very confusing. It is indeed. <laughs> but yeah, so on the Twitch stream, we'll be playing um, some a neglected Wii game. I we suppose. will. So uh, for me, I've never neglected the Wii. Um, I've played the Wii a lot ever since it was released, and um, I pretty much procured every major title and every somewhat. Um, highly rated title as they were released. So I never neglected the Wii. Yeah. Um, What's I'm... been your experiences with the Wii? I know your experiences, but I'll pretend <laughs> I don't for the sake of the camera. Um, I think that generally, um, I think I might have been the only person in the whole of the UK that didn't own a Wii within the first, like, what, three or four years of release. I never owned one. Did you not even own a Wii through neutralisation or something no. like that? No. No, I did not. Um, I literally did not have one, and I actually went and got my first Wii about six months ago, specifically so I could hack the hell out of it and play some old games. Okay. Yeah, that's the only reason. I mean, um, I mean we've so, had uh, your opinion. Yes. And we've had my opinion, but there's somebody missing. There is. Orb. He's very late today unfortunately, but hopefully he will come through the door any moment now, which would be, ah, oh, wonderful! <laughs> there we are. We're going to join us, young man. And let join him in. Us. Come on. Get in. Ah, oh, there we are. Right, so, what is your experiences with Wii? I really enjoyed them when they first came out. Ah. They were awesome. Ah, you didn't take the bait. What? I was trying to make, make, make you make a water sports joke. Um... But it's fine. I don't lower myself to such crass jokes. No R. Kelly references. Oh, is he relevant again? He is, apparently. Well, well are people finally offended? Yeah, I think so. After, what, ten years? Yeah, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, people are pe people are kind of getting offended now. But it's okay, because we're talking about the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, we're not talking um, about America's Savile. We're going to talk about <laughs> other things instead. Um, yeah, so anyway, sorry, Wii. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed them when they come out. Uh... Probably the first game I played on them was uh, Zelda, uh, Twilight Princess, when that came out. Oh, a GameCube game. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I wanted the GameCube version because I had a GameCube, but my friend got it on the Wii, so I completed it for him on his Wii while he did uh, schoolwork. Do you feel like this is the, uh, the actual name of the fun there? It talks about the Wii being neglected. I feel like during the system's lifespan, that the majority of people who normally play games... They played the Wii when it first came out, but that was about it. They didn't delve into the library and instead decided to play all the grey, gritty-looking games on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 instead for some reason. Would you feel that's somewhat true? Um, but all those ugly games, what was in I HD... I don't think the Wii got neglected at all. What, yeah, I, mean, what I saw from the Wii, okay? So one of the things that I saw from the Wii was the fact that it had stupid motion controls that nobody really cares about. And it had stupid Wii Sports titles, which I didn't care about. And because of this, 
I didn't care about the library at all. Like, I didn't even right. bother looking into the library to right. see if I would be interested. Okay. Uh, objection, well, yeah. objection. Can I just quickly, right, seriously, are you really saying that at the age you were when the Wii come out, yes. you weren't interested and didn't at all blaze Wii sports? Nope. Are you saying this to try and look cool? No, I, I, I really hated the forced motion controls and the way the motion controls worked that much that I refused to even play a Wii up until probably wow. towards the end of its life cycle. I, gave it, I actually gave it a go and I went, I'm glad that I missed okay. this. You but say now, after speaking to you, I know that there are some really good games that I missed out mm. on and I feel bad for missing out on them. I feel bad... For the amount of neglect that I put, uh, put onto the Wii, and I genuinely mean that. Yeah. And you say that nobody cared about Wii Sport and nobody cared about motion control, but I think you're completely wrong. No, I said I didn't. No, but you actually said nobody did. That's those were your words. You might think maybe you might not think. Okay, it, I, that's, those were your words in this video. Okay, okay. In that case, I was meant to insinuate that I didn't think anybody should care. Mm. Okay. But everyone cared. But the problem was, people didn't care for very long. It was a craze. Mm. People cared for about five minutes. What I like to liken it to the Nintendo Wii is somewhat of the Pong consoles of the 1970s. They were just a new interesting fad, which everyone was into of all generations. The younger people, the older people, etc. It was a very simple, accessible um, way of gaming. But the problem was, it literally was just a fad. So yeah. the majority of people had a little go for oh. This is a bit fun. Then they never played it again. That's literally what happened with the majority of people who bought a Wii, as because they wasn't really gamers. Yeah. They were just people who just thought, "I'm going to try this fad out." Yeah. And it was very much the same thing with Pong, from what I know about it, and from speaking to very, very old people as well about <laughs> their gaming experiences. Like they always, like if you speak to someone who's about seventy or eighty, they will always say to you, "Ah, oh, do you remember? Do you remember tennis? Playing tennis on the TV? They're talking about Pong consoles." So, yeah. And they're, they're sometimes made in the Wii as well. So the people, uh, the baby boomers, mm -hmm. if they talk about gaming, their experiences would be Pong and their experiences would be Nintendo Wii. Yeah, I mean, I do agree with you. Um, I think it's hard to disagree in a lot of ways with that particular statement. Um, but I mean, can, can we talk about some of the games that you think people have missed out on? Yes, I think due to this reason of um, the Wii's motion controls and it being a gimmick that got stale very quickly, and also due to the system's lack of HD, um, graphically it did not look as impressive of, of what, uh, in comparison to what the Xbox 360 yeah. or the PlayStation 3 could produce. But at the end of the day, gaming is not about graphics, mm -hmm. it's about gameplay experiences yes. and although a lot of the motion controls were very annoying and sometimes they were tacked on to great games for no reason other than to throw them in for the sake of this game's on the Wii we've been throwing some yeah. motion controls yeah, yeah. we've talked about on this channel many a times before but underneath the surface there are some classic games some fantastic games like the greatest Mario games of all time can be found on the Nintendo Wii yeah. Galaxy, Galaxy and Galaxy 2 you will not find two better Mario experiences than those two games yeah. and um they're Wii, and they're still Nintendo Wii exclusives right up until this day. Yeah, I've not played either of those. That's what I'm talking about. That's neglectful. Like, right. How can you That's, not play two of the greatest neglectful. games of all time just because it's on a Wii? How close-minded are you? But the thing is that all that's actually said, I'm not, not close-minded. I'm not close-minded. It's just the fact that the Wii I never bought as a serious games console. See? But I played on Wii so much. Like It's not like it didn't get love from me. I genuinely enjoyed for the first couple of months that that console was out, Wii Sports, with your friends. And this is what I'm talking I about. I genuinely enjoyed playing uh, Zelda uh, Twilight Princess, even though it had tacked on some silly motion control. Mm. Actually, if you just sat, you could sit down and play it. You didn't have to be, act it wasn't an active game. Um, it was awesome, and I, I've put hundreds of hours into the console, and I know of hundreds of other people that have put hundreds of hours into the console. I don't yeah. think you can call it neglected. As usual, you your shouting call... should have come my way. Mm. So but, carry on. <laughs> but it could have been like... But I don't it's think just you've played perception. any of the best games on the platform, I don't think. Like you said, you've not played the Galaxies. You've, I don't think you've played through Xenoblade Chronicles either, which we've discussed. No. Yeah. You wouldn't have played through The Last Story. No. You wouldn't have played Little King Story, which we're playing live on twitch.tv slash Top Hat Chat later tonight. Yeah, and we always play um, games on twitch.tv forward slash Top Hat Chat 9pm uh, UK time every single Saturday. Yes, and we'll be playing Little King Story tonight, so hopefully um, 
you two will see tonight how great Little King's story is. Yeah. And the neglect in which you've directed towards the Wii U, will, the Wii, will um, lessen somewhat. Mm. As I said, I don't think it's neglect. It's a perception difference. But it is neglected. You've not played the main titles. Like I bet you've played the main titles on the 360 and the PS3. No, not, probably not the PS3. You've not played The Last of Us? No. I see, to be fair, I've never played The Last of Us. Right. It's one of the ones I want to play. I'm not the most all encompassing gamer. I enjoy, I enjoy what I enjoy. Yeah. But I have a main console of the time if that's what, where I'm going down. If that's the path I'm choosing, not PC gaming, which I do choose for a couple of years. And then I switch. I like to move about. So I got my Xbox One first and I got the 360 uh, second, to be fair, but I lost my PS3 somehow. And then I, <laughs> then I literally got the 360, never looked back, and I stayed on Xbox. But I, I procured the PS4 and the PS3 at later dates to supplement it. So I haven't played all those games at the time. I've not neglected those consoles because I've put hundreds of hours on all of those consoles. Mm. But this but, is the thing, really. Why have we got these all-time classics on the Wii? What, to this day, many people have still not got round to, like... You can pick up Mario Galaxy for pennies, and uh, you can pick up a Wii for pennies. You probably have one. Why would you just have not got around to playing it at some point? Because there's low. Do you know how many games there are? Like, you do know how many games there are. Again, like, this is part of the problem, and I know what you're about to say. The shovelware on this system is tremendous. Yeah. But the shovelware on the PlayStation 2 was tremendous as well. Uh, not as bad as the I Wii. I think it was worse on the PlayStation 2. The Wii has got the most shovelware out of any system that came post-microcomputer age. Okay, well, if you didn't want to talk about the ZX Spectrum's 24,000 games. Exactly. I'm the, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to be factual. I mean, 24,000 games of which... 23,999 of shovelware. Yeah, exactly. All Is that about to die? Just close you it. You don't need it. Yeah, just close it. We'll be fine. Um, yeah, the shovelware on the Wii. I mean, can you think of a console other than microcomputers with more shovelware? Really? I mean, he said PS2. I, I no, that's very good no. call. That's literally what I was going to say. Maybe PS2. But do you think it had PS3 as much Xbox as well? Original PS3 is a surprising really? number of shovel. And 360. 360. Any console that does well has loads of shovelware. I would like to see your numbers. Um, um, but might but sell. then I would say, is the, what's the Wii's library size compared to those consoles of the same generation? I actually don't know. I don't know that's how many same. games are on any of those systems. So maybe between this stream and the next stream, I'll look that up and see what that's actually what's it comparable what's the library size is like and then you can work out a rough percentage yeah. of shovelware yeah in that in those and it'll be and it'll be an interesting comparison because i do think the ps3 is overlooked i think rich is right the ps2 has a hell of a lot of shovelware tat mm. games but then the ps1 did as well the nintendo ds the that nintendo is ds is it. probably the well, largest much more than yeah, the, the nintendo ds is probably the worst offender for that and they're still bringing out stuff for it regularly okay right, sorry cc's just said original xbox didn't have loads of shovelware it has a fraction of games compared to its peers see this is what i'm talking about mm. then what there are undeniably awful there is a Xbox lot of shovelware on the are. original Xbox because there's about 700 games. And could you tell me 700? Like, could you even name me but 20 games you'd want to play on the original Xbox? But he's saying that Halo. in comparison to its, pre, in it, <laughs> much to it. its peers, it has a Jet much Radio. smaller library than PS2 and uh, what else would be it? GameCube. GameCube. So apparently those systems would have more shovelware on just by numbers alone. Mm, yeah. I suppose. And comparative percentages. I just found that when I was going into game shops around that time, you walked in and looked at the Wii shelf and there wasn't enough titles to make you go, yeah, I want this console. I think what the difference is between those consoles and the Wii, I think the Wii might be one of those rare consoles where all the shovelware sold very well because most, <laughs> most of the consumers of the product were idiots. It's a so fair they, point. you could actually sell crap yeah. on the Wii and get away with it. Yeah. So a, there was more mass here's produced. A comparison. A lot of you guys must remember, so when the PS1 was out, yes, right, you had that year, it was right towards the end when the PS2 come out and you have that sort of semi-crossover where both are still being produced for or whatever yeah. and they're both still relevant enough for people to stock the games yes right so i remember distinctly being a child being going into these places like um a co-op so that's like a supermarket chain if you go into a co-op the local co-op they would have a, a spindle like a standing six foot spindle yeah. of ps1 games yeah every single one of those ps1 games 
is straight shovel work. And that was like one spindle in one shot had like 50 games on it. Yeah. Okay. And not a single one of those games was from anything close to a mass, uh, to a large publishing company or, uh, or a large developer. Mm. They're all almost like the precursor indie games or like, well, you, you know, you've always had indie games ever since people could program for home computers. But like, it's just that conversion of that console indie game almost approach. And the, the vast majority, 99% of that is all shovel work. So if, the PS1 has a load. To say that the Wii suffers because it's got so much bloatware, I think is is a, a, not the best path to go down towards judging it. Okay, I'm wrong. On the shelf behind me, <laughs> 90% of those Wii games are not shovelware. I've just got torn. So that kind of just suggests that there are a lot of good Wii games. Okay, well what about this then is a reason why. Okay, um, if you look at uh, some of the Wii games, some of them were ports from games that were popular on... Other systems, competitor systems, some, okay? When you went into those shops and looked at the quality of the game, compared to its competitors, it was diabolical. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because it was underpowered, because it was a different type of system, mm. right? So why would you look at that? You'd look at that as a, as a rate of quality in some respects, Yes. Uh, or at least the general public. Would. I always looked at the Wii at the time as at the time, not now, as far superior to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 because all the best games of the generation were on the Wii. Xenoblade Chronicles, the best JRPG of the generation, Wii exclusive. Best 3D platformers of the generation, the Mario Galaxy games. Mm -hmm. Best beat 'em up of the generation, Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, best kart racer, Mario Kart Wii. So there were so many games. Best um, adventure games, um, Twilight Princess. So Never the best game in most Brawl genres. Again. What what genre you can talk about? What wasn't uh, what Do wasn't you... for the Wii? All I can think of is first person shooters. Yeah. There was better options on other platforms than the Wii. Yeah. yeah, there definitely were. But that's the thing. I mean, they, were, again, they attempted first person. They were the on only Wii. console of that generation that still catered towards uh, light gun aficionados. That's true as well. Yeah, which is laudable. Like the uh, Left 4 Dead, not Left 4 Dead, sorry, House of the Dead yeah. titles on there is, are very good. And they're the only co console and the only firm that were ever looking into light gun styled rail shooters and at it's that e time. It's even got full motion video games. It's got Mad Dog McCree pulled into the bloody <laughs> Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hit you on stream, but I will. Um, FMV games. You're using that as an argument as to why it's great. No, it was just, it was just a nice little just bit of trivia that you can add an FMV game on just it. The one. Just, there's probably more than that, but that's the one that comes to mind. <laughs> there's no Keith Chegwin games either on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation yeah, 3, is there? Agree. That is true, to I be agree. fair. Yeah, no. Um, what great games can you suggest to people that are sitting there with Wii's in their loft? What games would you suggest for them to go out, seek out and Pull out their Wii's for. Okay, Little King Story, which we're playing shortly, okay. which everyone will love. I would, further from that, recommend... Here we go. House of the Dead. See. House of the Dead. Boom Blocks, a game created by Steven Spielberg himself. Mario Kart Wii, Metal Slug Anthology, Punch-Out, Zaki and Wiki, Quest for Barbarous Treasure, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Mario Striker Charged Football... Taking that one away. Mm. <laughs> I'm going for a shovelware now. Super Mario Galaxy <laughs> 2. WarioWare yes, Smooth's Moves. Sin and Punishment Successor Strikes. Super Mario Galaxy. House of the Dead Overkill. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. House of the Dead 2. House of the Dead 3. Mad Dog McCree. No. Kalanoa. Kirby's Adventure Wii. Bitrip Complete. Guilty Gear Core. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. The Metroid Prime Trilogy. Battalion Wars 2. The Blob. The Bob, the Blob Two, Mad World, Epic Mickey Two, The Last Story, Super Mario Galaxy Two, Pandora's Tower, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Buster Move, No More Heroes, No More Heroes Two, Resident Evil Four Wii Edition, Very Rayman good. Origins, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Yarn Yop Yam, A Boy and His Blob. Okami, Sonic Colors, Super Mario oh. All-Stars, Super Paper Mario, 
and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That doesn't sound a syst- like a system with a lack of good games to me. It doesn't. So there we it's go. The same Metroid think... Prime in there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So three, all three are on there. Yeah. yeah. And that's without even taking the virtual console into account. It was the first system where you could download yeah. Super Nintendo games, Nintendo games, Mega Drive games, Master System games, bloody Commodore 64 games, game PC games. Engine games, Game Boy games, the Wii where it was introduced. How could anyone prefer to have played the 360 with their limited amount of gritty grey games when you had access to games from every generation on one system for the first time ever? Graphics. <laughs> The graphics are crap. <laughs> They're crap. <laughs> that, but no, that's probably the. No. But it didn't do online. They did do well. online. It just wasn't very good. Yeah. Now you got to remember that was the time. I suppose that Xbox the, mm. 360 and PS3 re- well, especially Xbox 360 really lit up the console uh, competitive gaming yeah. online aspect, and you cannot deny the sheer. Uh, effect the titles like COD, Modern Warfare, I... and um, and the Halo franchise would have had as a console shifter. Okay, listen for that. Yeah. For that. And I cannot people deny loved that. those games mm. and played thousands of hours on that, thousands of hours. And then your mates get it and it builds, and that's why those consoles did so yeah. well. And and you have great games on all those consoles. Yeah, it's, I... It was a brilliant time, probably the best time in, in gaming in our lifetime. It was the strongest time possibly. I've never got round to trying online gaming. What's it like? I'm not. I'm serious. I'm I'll dead serious. Though, right? okay, I don't I'll like people, so I've never tried it. I'm, I don't like playing online, but I'll still support how massively awesome it is. I don't really play it. It's not for me. I'm not the most competitive guy. Well, I am competitive, and I get too competitive. That's why I don't do competitive things that often, because I get too competitive. But it builds good community. Well, the toxic communities, but communities nonetheless. You know, it 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 brings a shared gaming experience, something that we lost by having your friends come over. No one goes around each other's anymore to play games. People did for, for the Wii, though, didn't they? But they did that for the mm-hmm. Wii, which is a very good point. But the is that, Xbox that must 360... have been the period of time where I had no friends. Yeah. It must have been, because that, that's why I never got to play a Wii. That's the problem. And then, but the Xbox 360 and PS3 allowed you to play online with your friends from each other's houses when you had to stay in or whatever. And thousands of hours of games were consumed. Yeah, yeah. I mean... My house was a little bit different, as some of you may remember. I had people in my house constantly, whether I was there or not. People just lived at mine with my mum and dad um, for extended periods of time. But when people weren't there, I still got to engage with my friends. I was one of those people. You were. You were. Um, You and Ryan. Ryan lived at my house for two weeks. He just turned up one day and didn't leave. Um, For no reason. Um, Yeah, in case you were wondering who Ryan is, he's the guy that occasionally sits on this sofa. Um, Can you even say occasionally now? Okay, twice (laughs) sat on this sofa. Um, That's what it's come to, Ryan. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, he won't see this. Yeah, Um, (laughs) but yeah, like I got to sit at home when people weren't around. I got to continue interacting with them. And to be fair, I'm surprised that you didn't get more into the online gaming scene when it was popping up because it meant that you could hang around with people. And rather than going right, I want you to leave now, you could have just turned off your I think, gaming computer of choice and they'd be gone. And it allows, allows you back to your No, it is, it is an age thing, to be fair. I say I don't like people, but I was somewhat of a social butterfly when um, online gaming was coming around. So I had less time for gaming, I would say, over that period. I was a university student than perhaps any other time in my life. So I didn't perhaps dedicate as much time to gaming in 2006 as maybe I even do now or when I was a child either so in my limited time I'd rather take the safe op- option and play games I know what are going to be good such as Mario and Zelda mm. etc than risk trying something new and wasting my um, valuable precious time you see but at that time then did you miss out on games like Skyrim I, di- I played Skyrim Skyrim came out way later Fallout 3 these came out a lot later and we're talking about early Wii Era, not so what 2006. Yeah, they just came out like 2010, nine, didn't they? You sure are they did. <laughs> that, was pro- that, that was probably time. that was probably their sixth re-release. Am I losing track? Am I losing Fallout, track? That Fallout, Fallout three would have been 2007. Yeah, that long ago now. Yeah. That's scary. 2008. Somebody will correct us if we've got problems. That's scary. Sky, yeah, Skyrim, Skyrim probably would have been 2010, 2009, oh, maybe. I tried Skyrim when it first came out. Again, I hated it. I hate anything open world. You tried Skyrim when it I first like, came out in 2016. Even in a game. <laughs> I like to um, be on a track and know exactly where I'm going. 
That's what I didn't like about Skyrim. It gave me choice and options. I don't want that in a game. <laughs> well, well, you're missing out on a lot of great games. Yeah, you are. Same reason I hated Breath of the Wild as well. Not Breath of the Wild was a different... There was a different reason to hate Breath of the Wild. That was a Zelda game doing that. It was a Zelda game trying to do Skyrim. You and see, that's I think why that was... If you don't like those games, you do miss out... Like, you should try maybe a game that gives you an illusion of open world. To be fair, there are a couple I really like. Mad Max. Have you played Mad Max on the latest generation console? I haven't. I haven't. Right, Mad no. Max is a sleeper. It is a solid 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 really? game. But no one's played it. It's really good. And it's an illusion of an open world. You know Mad Max. It's all deserty, Australia yeah. kind of stuff. But it's very clear. You go from here to here. There is maybe something you can do in between. It's that sort of game. It's not like a Skyrim where he goes, Enjoy! And you go, no, but where do I go? And it's like, <laughs> So enjoy. you're saying it's like GTA 5. What made GTA 5 actually open world but good? Because there was a clear defined story that went in a but straight GTA line. GTA 5 probably has more freedom than... Mad yeah, but you can completely ignore the freedom because I did. Mm. You can literally just drive to whatever the yeah. icon is yeah. on the map, and that's yeah, what, how that. I played it, and I really enjoyed it. But Mad Max, <laughs> great game. <laughs> you didn't do any of the side no, missions. No, of course not. You just did Why the story. Why would I do extra work when I don't need to? <laughs> you've missed out on a. Okay, in that case, if you've only played well, the story in GTA Five, then you've probably played about eight percent of the game. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. There is so much. But I feel like that was a lot. The story took me hours and hours. And yeah, I there are there are like to do to hundred percent that game would take you a serious amount of hours. Yeah, a serious amount of hours. But that's a bad thing. You don't want to spend too many hours but in the same game. Do. They cater. They cater for both sides of but the. You're the wasting your time the putting that much time into just one game because because all it you're is losing is... out on different play experiences no. if you're spending that much time in just one. I probably right. put 160 well, hours into Breath of the Wild. But I'm what, surprised you didn't laugh. <laughs> but what people, but what people are getting from that is it offers the people who like to go the extra mile more incentive to do so, which is what they enjoy from a game. You don't have to go that far. It's like getting extra costumes on games back in the day. It's just gone to games are so much bigger now than they used to be, yeah. so your incentives are much larger. I yes. think that's what it is. Like, and so. You did miss out on Oblivion as well, if you weren't mm. playing 360 Oblivion, at that yes. time. Somebody that's mentioned insane. Oblivion. Yeah, uh, that's what reminded me. Oblivion is one of the, the best Western RPGs ever, ever made. But the word RPG and Western being good together doesn't work. Surely that's a, um, a paradoxical phrase to say that Western RPG good. Only because you haven't played them. Yeah, you. if you've not played it, you can't... It's Look, I love that game so much. I love that series so much, but that game in particular, and so many other people do, and it's so good. It's so very good. It's so close to PC gaming a bit, on, sorry. A, on a I console. I just remembered as well, there's a big reason why I've never played Oblivion, and another reason why I couldn't really find myself getting into Skyrim either. Go on. Um, Skyrim's number five, isn't it? I've not played yeah. number one. How can I get into number five? I've not played number one. You've got and that's, the, why have you not played number one? You've got the console. You've got the ability to play. You've got the computers that come out on. I'm sure. But I've said I've not. That's why I've not got around to playing it. Same as Fallout. I can't get into Fallout because I've never played Fallout one. So why would I start on three? That doesn't make any well, sense. Three is a completely different yeah. style of game. And doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it does. still we've discussed this before. And why I started on Final Fantasy VII because I actually thought at the time Final Fantasy VII was just a quirky name. It wasn't like, you can't have a series of games with seven instalments. Mm. So, yeah, I don't like playing a series halfway through. I have to start from the first one. Even if they've got no intertwined. Like, you wouldn't start watching Star Wars from Return of the Jedi, would you? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't. Why? Because it's weird. If that was the one that happened to be on TV and I hadn't seen any others, I'd flick it on. Mm, I don't think I would. <laughs> would you start a TV series halfway through? Start watching it halfway through? I, I have done. done, but I don't like it. I no. must admit. So why would you do it with a game series? That's the way I look at okay. it. Okay, um... Because it's let's look, right, let's look at Black stuff. Mirror. I don't know what that is. Oh. Black Mirror can be taken each entry. It's, well, it's okay. like Final Fantasy, though. Let's, let's look at something that you definitely, definitely have seen, right? Let's look at that Mitchell and Webb look, right? You can start watching that at any point in the, in, in, you know, at all. But I didn't. I started with episode one. But you could, but you could have started at any point. That, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they didn't intertwine. You didn't need the backstory. I know what you're saying, but you want to see you want to see how a game's evolved from from its root, don't you? You don't want to start something halfway through, otherwise you don't know how it's progressed or anything. But you're you not learning much about that. the game's mechanics. That seems odd to me. You want to know the game's root and where it's come from. Mm. Surely you don't want to just think, "Oh, this has sprung what? up out of nowhere." Do you know? Why, do you don't, 
why don't you watch videos about it then on YouTube? People make 10 minute documentaries about the history of games. I do. So then why don't, so why aren't you doing that and then playing the entry that you want to play? Because it's different watching someone's, watching a video about a game. You need to experience a game. Watching a video is not good enough right. because most of the time I watch videos and the whole thing right. turns out to be a lie anyway. So first like Final Hotel Fantasy Mario, game. that game's great, but everyone lies and says it's bad. First Final Fantasy game you played was? I, I've literally said this earlier. It was, it was Final Fantasy VII, but, there's a but, I thought it was the first game with just a quirky, cool, edgy, nine, late 90s name. So your own stupidity. But it wasn't stupidity, because it was never released no, was. in the West, so it well, kind I'll of... Well, I'll tell you this, I'm from the West. It sounded ridiculous <laughs> at the time as well, that a game... Anything could possibly have seven instalments in one series, so, whether it be a game, a movie, or whatever. Seven instalments is mental. Do you just lack imagination, or like it's I don't understand. I'm from the West. I saw Final Fantasy Seven when I was a kid and went, "Oh, that's the seventh Final Fantasy." But I was an avid gamer. I was, I was four years older than you. Where would that have popped up from? Do you know what I mean? I, I've been following gaming, even though you had a a SNES that had Final Fantasy three on it. No, I didn't. It was released in America only. It wasn't released here. It was never... Well, right, what about NES with Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on it? No, no, 7 was the first one to come out here. But you're a game fan. How did you... But remember? I was 11 years old. Like so I said, it just sounded like a quirky name. Fan. You didn't read the literature. I hadn't read the literature, no. So you're not exactly the best student of the game. Not at 11 years old, no. I was not. Mm. Right, so... We've tried to explore the reasons why the Wii was neglected and got nowhere. <laughs> um, we spoke about some of the good games that we managed to find on the Wii, and well, you've managed to find on the Wii, and given people reasons to go back to it, and um, reasons to f dig it out of their lofts and garages and uh, basements and wherever else they're hiding their little white boxes. Mm. Um, can we think of anything else to say before we sign off? Yes. Um, we have a mystery box! <laughs> we do! Bit faster, it's getting late. No, I would have got that reference except for Ryan if he watches, but yeah. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we do have a mystery box. We are going to be opening this mystery box live on Twitch. That is twitch.tv forward slash top hat chat. Um, I'll throw a copy paste link into the thing. We have been sent a mystery box from somebody. Um, Andrew Aldrich. Yes, and it is completely sealed. We don't know what is inside. The only thing I've taken off is the um, the, the first outer packaging. Yes, so that people can't dox us. Yes, um, which is this is we're trying to get clickbaity. Mm. Um, so yeah, you can if you want go off and watch some other live streams. Yes. Or you can see what's in our mystery box. And come now. And come now to twitch.tv forward slash top chat. If you are watching this retrospectively um, and it's not too far in the future, then you can catch the, uh, the video on demand on Twitch. If not, go and find us because we do stupid stuff like that all the time. Um, give us a follow. If you haven't got an account, it takes about 30 seconds to make one. It's definitely, definitely worth doing. You'll be notified of when we go live, which is the same time every week. Um, late this week, but anyway. Um, have we got anything else to say? Do you want to do a sign-off piece? Does anybody want to do a sign-off piece? Anybody got anything else to say on this topic? Uh, no. No, no not really. Not. Don't neglect your Wii's. That's it. No, yeah. Neglecting them. Do you, anyone's neglectful if they've not played Mario Galaxy? Uh, yeah. The first um, Super Mario game of an orchestra. That's neglectful. No, I was too busy slaying noobs in Modern Warfare 2. Don't even know what that is. You're going to wave and say cheerio like Is that not the end? No, well, I could have done, but I wasn't completely sure. So oh, okay. Usually you wave and say cheerio and then... Cheerio! What now?